you have a major? Carlos Solorio is getting to know these students who have come to him to learn more about his photography. Now on display here at the Centro Cultural de la Raza in Balboa Park. Carlos is a professional photographer who was born in Tijuana and later naturalized as an American citizen. He has deep roots in Mexican history. I suppose that's where the Aztecs came from. They traveled all the way to Tenochtitlan. You know, and that's where they saw the, the eagle biting the serpent. These students are from the Francis Parker School. They are all Mexican-American, with parents who immigrated to San Diego County looking for a better life. My parents didn't actually go to college, so it's going to be... It's going to be a new experience for all of us. And I have three siblings that, for right now, are following the path that I went. That path to the Parker campus includes 1,300 students. A majority of them are white, which can be a challenge for children who are not. That prompted the SPEAK program, which stands for Shaping Peer Empowerment Advocating Knowledge. It's mentoring in cross-culture competency for all students. It's also about creating understanding and awareness um, for those who come from majority identities or have access to um, privilege um, and teaching them what it looks like to uh, create allyship. The photography field trip to the Centro was designed to help close the gap for students with roots on both sides of the border. Just look at the show's title. Transfronterizo is like a cross-border of somebody who navigates both sides of the border, uh, you know, naturally. This photograph called Migrant X hits close to home. The migrant picture where it had the lady or man in the background with the desert just like overlooking them. I just thought like of how my parents came to America as a person, like they might have seen that or been in that picture, you know. The gap can go both ways when a student is caught between the difference of American life and a Mexican family. Connecting back to my family is a bit tricky because there's moments where I don't really understand what they're saying or I don't understand the tradition of that. We pass on the torch to the next generation and then it's up to them to be the decision makers or, you know, the the, the leaders of our, of our people. It's a picture-perfect moment with progress and hope for the future. M.G. Perez, KPBS News.